I would like to show you how to start using the Classroom Shared Drawing System. I assume you have been logged into the system and you can see your username in, in this location on the page. Um, to go on here, you need to open the Teacher View by clicking the, the link over here. And now we are ready to uh, create our first canvas we want to share with our students. And then uh, let's see how to do that. The workflow we will be going through is uh, shown up here. First, we need to prepare the question. Then we can do some actions by example, pushing out the question to the students. There are some elements that we can select what to actually show here in the teacher view. And finally, there are some navigation links that will be uh, suitable when we need to open the pages for the students and, and so on. But let's start by preparing a question. Usually the question has been prepared in advance as an image file that is uh, residing on your own computer. So click here and then select an image you want to uh, upload to, to the system. Let's just choose a coordinate system. In this step you have, then you get the option of uh, cropping uh, the illustration. So uh, if you only want to, to keep a part of that uh, in whatever should be sent out to the students. So I just uh, included the entire canvas or the entire image here. If I want to, I can draw on top of this um, to describe uh, whatever uh, task should be solved. I can also mention the task for the students so they know what to do. For instance, if I want them to uh, draw y equals x uh, plus 1, this equation in the coordinate system, I have just drawn it using my mouse on top of here, and then I can go to the actions part where I can say push canvas to students. Now that it takes a moment and then it appears over here. And that indicates that the students actually have received the canvas. To open the student view, we have to go into this navigation part of the menu and say open page to share with students. And now we are actually seeing what one of the students would uh, would be seeing. So I'll just uh, open this one and, and take it to one of the sites and the teacher view will remain over here. So in the teacher view, we have a private canvas and that's a canvas where only the teacher is able to make any drawings. And we also have a shared canvas, a canvas with input from students, which as a background has the last image that was pushed out by the teacher. And on top of that, all the student drawings will also appear in, in this canvas. So if uh, the student that has been connected uh, over here, uh, it starts to trace out the function here by, by indicating a, a few uh, helping points here for, for sketching the, the function then we can see that uh, they actually uh, appear uh, over here. Um, and also if, if the asteroid has been drawn a line and, and so on, it will appear over here. So we can more or less follow along in, in real time in what the students are doing. Now let's see if, um, if you want more students to connect, you need to share the link up here with the students or with the entire class and simply take a copy of this uh, link and then uh, share it with the students. What I'll be doing here is I'll just open uh, a few pages containing this link. So now I actually have uh, five different uh, students that I connected and I'll see if, if how they are able to, to draw uh, this line. Some might be better than others. If we imagine that uh, one of the students have misunderstood the slope, uh, it'll appear like this. Um, what happens here is that the system detected that we used a long time on, on drawing something that was close to a straight line and therefore it made it a straight line. Um, the student actually have the option of uh, saying clear drawing and then could try again if, if they didn't uh, want it to be be changed to a straight line. 
and we can just go on from from here so now we have a few responses that also allows us to do something more in the TG view this is within this uh, actions uh, part and that to that is to cluster the student answers if you imagine having received uh, 50 answers by students on something like this it can sometimes be hard to get a good overview of what they're actually saying and by clustering we can group similar answers uh, next to each other um, so right now the system found that two students had drawn lines in this direction and three students had drawn something in, in the opposite direction which was uh, the right one um, right now the background is not shown um, but you need to imagine that uh, the private canvas uh, sits behind this so this is actually what is uh, needed to, to use the system um, uh, a brief comment here is that all the students are anonymized uh, so I can't trace it back to a specific student if one of the student each of the student is identified by the string and if a student reloads the site uh, the student identification number uh, changes so it's very hard to keep track of, of someone uh, here to push out a new question we go up to prepare question again choose a, a new file and then we could maybe take a, a map of Denmark and say okay uh, what part would we like to include for instance as part of the southern part of, of Denmark and we could uh, push that out to, to the students and what actually happens here when we push it out it takes a while and then it should uh, appear in all the student views uh, that we're that have been connected or on the student devices uh, where they work from and we can just repeat whatever has been been happening um, at this stage we could um, also look at this list of uh, if you want you can take a look at the list of saved canvases um, which contains whatever the student has been drawing uh, on the pushed out canvases and uh, we can go back to the login page and, and so on so these are some of the options or possibilities using uh, classroom shared drawing good luck with the system